What is going on, lunatics? We are here in Repeg City. There's a lot of discussion right now about repegging USTC Luna Classic. And there is now a bounty for a successful move to make this happen. Now, is this a good one? I don't know. We're going to look at it, and then you guys are going to make the determination for yourself, because I'm assuming at some point there will be something that comes up for a vote. And I think that the bounty on it is ridiculously high. So, and by the way, it would be worth every penny in the event that something positive were to happen. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in, and let's check this out. All right, so, uh, Terra Luna Classic moves to repeg USTC. Will Lunk price explode? That's the question, and of course, if that were to happen, sure it would. Um, how has it moved recently? We're not really worried about. Terra Luna Classic moves to repeg USTC. Now, here's what we had. This is a Binance Square content writer who puts out, right here, a bounty. So it's discussion for a flawless repeg system for Terra Luna Classic, a $250,000 bounty. The Terra Luna Classic community, in its pursuit to restore the stability and value of USTC, hereby announces a bounty of $250,000 for the development of a flawless system of repeg USTC to its intended $1 value. This proposal outlines the requirements, process, and expectations for this initiative. The primary goal is to design, develop, and implement a system that ensures USTC maintains its peg to the US dollar without the risk that led to the previous depegging event. So, the requirements for the system is going to be stability. The market must ensure that the USTC remains pegged at $1, regardless of market conditions, through mechanisms that automatically adjust supply or demand without human intervention. Number two, security. Implementation must secure against exploits, including but not limited to flash loans, arbitrage, and other DeFi vulnerabilities. Uh, transparency. All algorithms and mechanisms must be open source, allowing for community review and audit. Decentralization. The system should not rely on a single point of failure or centralized entity for its operation. Economic incentives, design incentives that encourage holders to maintain the peg, possibly through staking, yield farming, or other innovative financial instruments. Scalability, the solution should be scalable to handle high transaction volumes without compromising on speed or cost. And interoperability, system should ideally integrate with existing DeFi protocols for liquidity and utility enhancement. So, proposals should include a detailed white paper explaining the mechanics, technical documentation including code snippets or full code if available, security audits or plans for audits, economic models showing how the system maintains the peg, a timeline for development, testing, and deployment, and, and the evaluation criteria are going to be feasibility, innovation, community feedback, and security. The selection process is going to be initial review, community vote, and then final decision, the award. The $250,000 will be awarded upon successful implementation and a period of stability to be defined six months of remaining uh, maintaining the peg, implementation, and support. The winning team will receive support from the Terra Classic community for integration, testing, and deployment. Continuous community involvement will be encouraged for ongoing development and improvements. This bounty is not just an investment in technology, but in the resilience and future of Terra Luna Classic. So this is what they would consider to be a call to action. Now, let me take this a step further. Because now suddenly it's a $1 million proposal available for your review on uh, Commonwealth. So nothing's changed here, but a $1 million USTC will be awarded on successful implementation and a period of stability. Uh, now, here's the thing. It would be my estimation that whom, whoever this is that's putting this out, and they go by the name of NB Crypto, probably holds a significant supply of USTC. So we can assume that it's somebody who holds quite a bit and has a vested interest in turning a million. Uh, I'm sure they hold 10 to 15 million USTC and they're looking for a significant move towards that upside, which makes it then worth it to give away 1 million USTC to make that happen. Now, is this valid and is this something that, that is or can be done? And then the question is, if I write a white paper here, uh, where do I upload the submission for it to be reviewed? Just in this thread, Ready Player One, and we're seeing Web Jojo also coming in here. I think you could offer 250,000 or 1.7 million USTC. Uh, we'll see here. I uh, didn't read the whole draft, but at first glance, I feel offering 1 million is like offering a bounty of 16,000 for the whole repeg too low. I would suggest making it 10 million USTC. Uh, and here's the thing if you trust the work, this is simple. If you trust the work, uh, then 1 million is $1 million. So, um, do you trust the work? That's the question, right? So as this evolves and as this starts to play out, this is going to become very, very important. And I think the, the question was, will this lead to a huge push in the value? So to achieve the goal of stabilizing USTC at its intended value, the community is offering a reward. Um, and, and it's in USTC, by the way. So if you stand on business, if you will, for what you say will happen here, 
then you just solved the equation. You've just figured it all out. So um, the question is, will the price explode? While Terra Luna has seen a 23% price increase over the past year, it's been outpaced. It, look, and, and this is this is not the market for uh, the, it, everything has been uh, taking time. The, the market has not been kind. So we'll see whether or not this matters in the long term. But for right now, this upon receiving an actual proposal, an actual proposal, this could get very, very interesting. It's just, it's not interesting yet, okay? No disrespect to NB Crypto or anybody else. It's not interesting yet. Now let's talk price action right here because I mean, this really is the tale of the tape, if you will. Will this come to pass? And remember, I just, I drew this out the other day. Nothing has changed. What I say, we're gonna move here, then we're gonna consolidate around here. What's happening right now? We moved up here, now we're consolidating around here. So, you know, we're doing exactly what I said we're gonna do. How long this consolidation continues, I don't know. But this is the impetus, by the way. This repeg, this, this discussion about a repeg, this becomes paramount for this. You're, you're gonna repeg USTC to a dollar, but the other portion is you're gonna have to repeg uh, USTC to Luna Classic as well, and that's gonna create burn protocols that are gonna to help to, to maintain it. That's what algorithm fungible tokens are. So um, not completely, but uh, this will algorithmically stabilize it at $1. Remember, there's too much supply, so there's going to be some interesting um, events that are happening right here to the benefit, by the way, of USTC. I do think USTC probably is going to get a big, big, big benefit off of this. I'm going to show you the price action for that in just a moment. But again, uh, going sideways here, uh, this consolidation right here that I'm telling you about is going to lead to that big move, right? If everything plays out as intended. And if it does, fantastic. Now, USTC, as you can see right now, uh, we're getting... Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's gonna be one of the bangers. We're gonna do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're gonna do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough the market Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today. It's a day chart, by the way. Uh, you can see it wants to it wants to move. It, it, every time it, it spikes a little bit, it's getting sold off, but it's continuing to move back upwards. Now, this is a short-term sort of thing. We're only talking about two weeks worth of data here. And we, if we look at the longer trend, we look at the longer trend, we still have problems. And that is that you know we're coming down like this. Now it seems to seems to be kind of changing direction. However, we've done that before. And you know, we broke out above, so uh, we, we've broken the resistance here. We, we had a nice little spike, but we're coming back down into this range. And you know what, if I take this uh, and I take all these little pieces off and then I take this and I say, well, you know, what's it look like here? Then you, you, you're, still, you're still working on uh, that range. Now, if we take this up here and say, well, you know, this is the new paradigm here, right? We're not, we, we've no longer broken out. Now we've just increased the trend line, right? Well, if we do that, then, you know, we've got a limited amount of upside until we get to this two cent range up here. That re represents the next form of resistance. So we're not there yet. We're not even close. So, you know, don't get too excited about where, uh, don't, don't get too excited at this point. So that's what's going on right now with the price action is uh, back to Luna Classic. I still think there's going to be a breakout here. I am telling you that there is going to be a breakout here, or at least structurally, there is a breakout on the horizon. And when I zoom out and I get, you know, a lot of data out here to tell me where do I think it's going to go. Uh, I'm going to tell you one more time. It, right here, 11,706 seems to be the play. Or anywhere between 11 and 11,706 seems to be the range because that's right there where we're consolidating. And what I mean by that is very simple. This volume node that's sitting right there, this volume node that's sitting right there. Uh, and then, you know, we get a, a nice little breakout. There's not a lot of volume up in this range. When we zoom out a little bit more, this changes dynamically, by the way. And you see this big yellow line. Once we kind of zoom out here a little bit, uh, you'll start to see that sort of range get a little bit more volume and a little bit more 
leverage as a position. So uh, I do think that 15, uh, 3 0 15 8 is probably the next thing in the cards after uh, bonking off of this top trend line here. So uh, something to keep in your pocket for what I think is going to happen. Now, as far as the rest of this goes, um, Lenny, so, there's something wrong with Lenny over here. Uh, I was looking at it on the coin hall. So, you know, no governance proposals are up right now. As far as volume goes, uh, we're up 50% in volume from a very, very low volume, but we're down about 2% in price. Over here, however, we're up 83% in volume because people are talking about this repeg now. And the market cap seems to be going up about 2% on the day. So if you flipped for USTC, then you made a good move. I disagree with it, but there, there, that would be a good move. Now, uh, over here, something that Derek, which is Kimmy Boy 2, put out here. South Korea's pension fund snaps up nearly 34 million micro strategy sales shares. And that probably uh, it leads to the, the South Koreans are getting bullish again. And if that's the case, then it's only a matter of time before we get an explosive move. And the South Koreans are the people that really pumped this to begin with and the Chinese. So the Asian communities right now probably looking at Lunk or coming back around to Lunk at some point. So uh, again, I put this in the old memory bank to see if that's not something that happens pretty soon. Again, no proposals are up. Burns 100 million over the last seven days. Just in inefficient, inefficient. Uh, we have to work on that and that's what the repeg uh, turns out to be. Now, if you're interested in uh, coming over here and trying to win some more Luna Classic or whatever crypto that you like, uh, Terra Casino is your place to go. Terra Casino offers you all of the bells and whistles of a live gaming institution. Uh, you can go here and do crypto trading, bonus war, sports, roulette, casual games, uh, whatever you're looking for. This is the place to do it. And it helps me tremendously to continue to support you uh, in providing you with information if you sign up at Terra Casino link down below. Also, if you trade meme coins or coins that are building in this ecosystem, then Terraport is where you go. Terraport does fantastic things over here. Let's look at it a little bit, give you guys an idea. Uh, you can see here that I've got a staking set up over here uh, where I'm earning off of. I've got a couple more months that it's going to be locked in right here. I'm staking Terra. Uh, but if you want to, yield farm. Uh, you can you can start yield farming over here. Um, and, and by the way, you can do this, whatever pairing that you want to do over here for your yield farming, uh, you're looking at uh, total value lock, you're looking at liquidity, you're looking at whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, so if you want to you pop in here with stake uh, and then whatever um, your, your APR right here, 15.6, you will get zero terror or something in 365 days. You, you would have to do this for a year, but um, there's good yields here. There's good opportunities right now for you. So all you have to do is provide and uh, yield farm and you're good to go. Uh, remember Rocket, we're still waiting for that launch. Haven't heard anything about the launch yet, just kind of waiting in the wings for it. So um, that's it. I know this was a little bit disjointed despite that we're talking about Repeg, which is probably the most important thing in the Terra Classic communities. I know, I, 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 I apologize that, you know, that, that this is going on. I'm having some real issues with my computer right now. And the camera, it's its an old camera. I had to pull that out because a new camera doesn't work right. I just, everything's getting kind of crazy here. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, appreciate that you take the time to come check me out. And let's uh, let's get a repeg proposal together. Let's start re making some real magic happen in this community. And everybody here is going to eat. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.